<laughs> Call hard is alive. It's difficult because I'm having a lot of interruptions. Uh, yeah, I do rock the double, the double cross. Uh, trying to get a good vocal sound or reading some of this stuff, you should basically already know. Give you a little quick rundown as you run into the problem. We'll fix it. Some of the little things I do, all right? I heard that off the top. If we didn't, we'll play it back. A little lip smacking sound. All right, we'll pull that out. S is already clicked, so we're not snap valued. I know your heart. Could clean that little space out right there. Sus. Just a little hair of sound, so let's zoom in and push H. Right there. E. W. G. If you push F. Then it won't follow it. See, it'll just it'll be really need some All right, let's get that little hit. breath right there. Zooming in on that breath. Simple, basic things you should know, but you gotta stop and uh, solo the tracks a lot of time to hear this stuff. Cause when you're in the mix, you can't hear it. Sometimes, sometimes it works with the song. All right. Sometimes it's not abrupt at all. But what we do is we'll go right here and push five on that last one. Fade out, fade in, five, that <clears throat> did we turn, okay, now, sometimes exceed, you hear that S in there, we're going to get to that in a minute, okay, let's zoom that back out, and let's go from there, my I think I actually went back and already fixed this, yes I did, because I had to do this tutorial a couple times, so I'm going to, sorry about that, I'm going to delete that. Out. That was a little just something I did. Same type of thing. Pull that back. That's what I actually took out was this. Sometimes. So, it's no point showing you the exact same thing two or three times. So that's what it sounds like. I got the word. Sometimes exceed. A little air balance. Put it back. Sometimes exceeds my mean. Alright, that is Torrent singing in case you're wondering. We call him Chuck. <clears throat> so what we do next is, do a little reverb. I know you're always need. Sometimes exceeds my mean. All right. <clears throat> so we got that. We won't play with the EQ at all. We'll, for right now, we'll go over to our rack. And what I do is I run that into... This is my preset, so I still have my SSL to boost and um, compress for feng shui, we'll call it. I know you hear the loud card in the background, we're going to keep going. Alright, so, see how it sounds with that on it? I know your heart only Yeah, okay, dreamy reverb, I'll show you what I did. Is me. Sometimes exceeds my mean. I know your heart. Alright, give us a little boost there. The L2 is awesome. Next we'll DS. Okay, let's go back over to the rack. This is what I was using as a DS, or what I would do is basically run it out into the DS or then into whatever I put there. So it would be already DS'd. So no, you're supposed to DS on every track. So, came up with this method. Here's the track. We're running into the vocal bus. Another thing I like to do is put those little arrows right there, even though I know you can tell it's a vocal bus. We'll create another bus. And run the vocal into a bus and then into the vocal bus. <clears throat> so, what we'll do is now we'll take this bus. We'll bring this up, and this is how we're going to DS it. And all is me. Let me stop and say, you know, this is on the vocal bus and not the track it's on. So it's it's not it's just one bus that's created. It's basically like a step ladder in between the bus and the vocal. So we have a processing channel, if you want to call that. We're just gonna process it. We'll use it as ideas. So we can DS all our vocals if they're similar through this one channel before it goes into the main vocal bus. Alright, 
Okay. Now, once you find it, <clears throat> what I used to do is push this button to see what it does, and I'll show you what happens if you don't know. Just going back to normal, basically. So, when you do push this bus, there's a change that goes on up here. Same exact button right here. Don't get confused. Bam. All right, so it filters into the dynamic. Filtering into the compressor, running the that signal into the compressor and it'll only compress that signal out of the rest of the signal makes way more sense if I said again if you get it right so you cut that frequency out carved it out of the signal then you plan it normal and the compressor when you cut it on will only compress that part of the signal so it's de-essing that's what de-essing is taking the nasty stuff out alright Sometimes exceeds my mean. I know your heart and all is need. Sometimes exceeds my mean. So that's just an easy way to quickly go ahead and get that DS DSion going on. So let's say. Who knows? We need another DS. You know, you just create another bus, you DS again. Cause sometimes I with instruments, sometimes I like to DS instead of just taking out a whole frequency. I think it kind of sounds a little better, specifically when you're balancing certain instruments against vocals. You rather pull that frequency down and let it ride back up, kind of wave instead of just be out of there. And then you miss it with your ears. It's just a little trick I like to do. So that's like. Basic stuff with vocals, you already know you'll go. Give it some 10k. I know your heart we'll go back to the channel. Sometimes, Sometimes exceeds my mean. See how it gives a little present. I know your heart and all is need. Sometimes exceeds. My mean. See how it almost seems like it takes away that low rumble in his voice. I know you're always need. Sometimes exceeds my bit. mean. So right quick, let's script everything off of it and let's listen to what we have originally. I'm just gonna put it all back. Sometimes exceeds my mean. I know your heart and all is me. Sometimes exceeds my mean. I know we still got a little sharp S in there a little bit. <clears throat> I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to get things perfect, just showing examples here. Now I told you I'd say something about this reverb. Here it is right here. What's happening is I know your heart and all is me. What's happening? I don't get it, right? Let's flip that around. We're taking the side chain, we EQing. We're taking the side chain of the signal and running it into the compressor. So it only compresses when it gets the signal. So it compresses the shit out of it, basically, excuse my language, when the vocal is up going and when the vocal stops, reverb floods in. It's way to get a good balance or for a singer, it just gives it that extra character. That you almost don't hear. That's why the reverb is so subtle in most of my songs. Unless I try and make it big. Cold Heart is live. Ten minutes in. Appreciate y'all.